Hi everybody, this is Joe from Node Zero. I'm going to be showing you a quick sneak peek of some of the technology we're developing over here as one of the few Joomla focused web hosts. So today we're going to be talking about the back end of Joomla. This is 1.5, as you, many of you may know. 1.6 has actually gone to release candidate earlier this month. The technology we're developing for the back end of 1.5 will also be available for 1.6. It might come out a few weeks later, but it will be available. It relates primarily to learning how to use Joomla and what to do in the back end for various tasks. One of the many things that trips people up when they're using the back end of Joomla, particularly Menu Manager, is how do I get a menu item to show up and one of the trickier still settings that people get completely lost in are the category blog layout. While I'm not going to be talking about category blog layout, I will be illustrating the deficiencies of the built-in tooltip system. These four settings control an enormous amount of visual display in the back end of Joomla and many many people don't know what they do. One of the primary reasons they don't know what these settings do is because there's no visceral feedback when they hover over one of these terms, leading. Uh, the description is number of articles to display as a leading, full width article. Zero will mean that no articles will be displayed as leading. The only clue that we're given here as to the true repercussions of putting a number in this field is full width. So from that we're left to infer what full width could possibly mean. What I'll be showing you today is just a sneak peek of what our upgrade will enable. I'm just going to cancel out of this and I'm going to show Module Manager, another area where documentation could really help. I'm just going to show one particular application of the technology we're building. It has to do with selecting and showing real-time help in a much more clear and concise manner. When you look at Module Manager and you look at Module Name Enabled, Order, Access Level Position, Pages, Type, and ID, these are all crucial, crucial pieces of information for how this module is going to interact with your website, how it's going to do whatever you've installed it to do. And the tooltips simply click to sort by this column. While sorting isn't one of the more important areas of knowledge to have in Joomla, I'm going to show by way of an explanation of what the module name link does if clicked on what it will actually do before you do it. Before you click on something, you will actually be shown what it does. So I'm going to show you that with the technology we've put together. First thing you'll notice is our code actually goes and highlights the element that you're on. Right now we've only enabled it to the module name column when it's released it will be enabled on all columns. That means on all columns in Module Manager, Menu Manager, um, Article Manager, Section Manager, Category Manager, on all the critical areas of Joomla, this sort of real-time highlight is going to be in effect. The color might change, but the interaction mode will not. It'll be immediate. You'll know immediately upon an additional color appearing on that element that there is comprehensive documentation on this, that you're just not left alone in the dark to figure out how to use this based on a couple of cryptic tooltips and hours of waiting in the forums. So if the user hovers over the highlighted element, what we actually do is display a pictorial pop-up illustrating what does module name do? It actually shows. It shows what module name is. It's the same as the module title. It shows a clicking on module name will actually orient, it'll sort all of the modules in order from alphabetical A to Z if the arrow orientation arrow is pointed up. If the orientation arrow is pointed down, 
it will sort the modules in the opposite direction, Z to A, or descending. So this is just a glimpse of what we're putting together and what we hope to release by mid-January for Joomla 1.5 and by late January for Joomla 1.6. And that is what we've been up to. So happy holidays and see you guys soon.